now it's time for me to introduce my special co-host. You guys know him from The Tonight Show on NBC and from Saturday Night Live. He is the one, the only, Mr. Jimmy Fest. Special effects and even water effects on the tour. So be careful with your cameras, your belongings, and yourselves because you may get splish flash today. Now, check out the road that we're driving on right now. It's our famous timeline, and along it you'll see posters of the many productions that we've shot throughout the years. On top of each one of them is the year in which it was released and our logo. And if you guys look carefully, you'll notice how that logo evolves throughout our history. Also on this road to your right, you're going to see fire station number 51 in just a few moments. That fire station got its name thanks to the hit 70s drama, Emergency. Now, if you're wondering why we have a fire station at a movie and TV studio, that's because our lot is humongous, folks. This place is about 400 acres wide. It is so big that we were given the nickname Universal City. Hence, we need a fire station, and we also have a police station, and even postal service, because we really do work like a city. Now, a little further down this timeline, you'll also see our oldest and largest sound stage, number 12, former home of the hit reality competition series, The Voice, and where we also shot the following productions. Wide open, folks, and in just a second, moving across the screen and entering the front lot where you're going to see even more sound stages on your left hand side as well. The first one is number 20, which you can see uh, over here on the corner. Stage 20 is where they are currently filming Bel Air, the new version of The Freshman of Bel Air. It's also been home to the Netflix movie Bird Fox, which starred Miss Sandra Bullock. Our metro area, which we're about to see in just a moment on your right hand side. Now, none of this was shot there, folks. This was all done inside of that sound stage using green screen technology. Now folks, take a look to your right hand side, there you'll get a glimpse of one of the most prominent neighborhoods here. It's called Brownstone Street, it's that area that has buildings with stairs in front of them. And it's there where we shot these scenes. Square, which is beautifully decorated for the sitcom Rutherford Falls, which is filming here on the lot and currently streams on a Peacock. Now, a lot of you probably recognize this area as the town of Hill Valley from the Back to the Future movies. Because you'll see that huge wall with buildings painted on them. 
From our point of view, we can tell these buildings are fake, but depending on where a producer or director decides to place a camera, these buildings may look real on the smaller big screen. Check them out in this scene from Bruce Almighty. Place the dog! In the shower! Ah, he's like that. Outside the door! Get him! Alright, so that scene was shot on Brownstone Street, which we just drove by a few minutes ago. If you guys look at the end of that street, you'll see some buildings. Of course, they're not real, folks. They are the wall over on your left-hand side. Oh, you're done now. Great. By the way, the use of angles to use uh, excuse me, the use of angles to make certain things look real on the smaller big screen is known as Trump Lloyd in the movie making world. Now to tell you more about the secrets of our Metro sets, here is once again, Jimmy Fallon. Alrighty folks, welcome to our picture cars department. vehicle you're sitting in right now is also a picture car. here for the weather channel because that thunder yeah, yeah, yeah. it does not sound point of folks um you know what this is really starting to worry me because oh my gosh i was gonna say it never rains here in southern california during december but apparently this is an exception to the rule uh, yeah, yeah. did anyone bring an umbrella or a raincoat for the space tour anybody come prepare it no okay um <laughs> Great. Diego, did you bring anything with you? Oh, oh you did? Okay, can we share? No? Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, as I was saying before, Mother Nature decided to interrupt me. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy about this part of the lot is just how authentic the architecture is. It's got a very... Oh my gosh, folks. Oh my goodness. It's a flashlight. Everyone, take cover. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jimmy Jungle Box! <laughs> you see, this is why I tell everybody, you gotta be careful of course. You never know when you're gonna get switched last year and then you'll end up like a wet burrito. And it's not even Taco Tuesday, folks. We will be magically transported all the way to Little Europe, folks. Yes, that's right. We're here in Little Europe, also known as the good place which star Ted Danson and Kristen Bell. Now, before I keep on uh, telling you more about this area, I just want to remind everyone um, to please, unless you're actively eating or drinking, please keep those face masks on over your nose and mouth. If you have any migrants with you, make sure that they've also um, got their uh, face masks on. We greatly appreciate your cooperation. Now, take a look at a scene from The Good Place. You, Eleanor Shellstrike, are dead. Huh. This location, the afterlife, come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. 
can't risk going to a bad place. Maybe, maybe it's not all that bad. Yeah, how can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Now, over on your right is a court of miracles. That's where we actually shot lots of scenes for some of the most classic monster movies out there that we produced during the early days of our studio, including productions like Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy, and even The Invisible Man. Check out some scenes from those classics that are almost 100 years old. <laughs> Get out of the bathroom. Raise all the minions and lock the women indoors and wait for me. Alrighty folks, now we're entering Cell Sage 50. This is one of the cool things about this tour because we not only show you filming locations and Cell Sages from the outside, they actually let you go inside of a Cell Sage as well. This one in particular is unique because the tram does go through it. Uh, it's equipped to uh, allow us to drive through it. Um, it's also a permanent installation, a replica of a metro station in the city of San Francisco. So this particular set never gets torn down because it's constantly being used. In fact, over on your left, if you